Hey guys, Anthony here with Pro Dealer Secrets, and today we're going to talk about how to use Kelly Blue Book. And no, I don't mean the website. I mean how to use the actual values themselves to know what a car will actually sell for and not like in a fantasy land. So you got my screen here. You know, let's, let's find a vehicle to evaluate. So what I mean by using Kelly Blue Book, it's how to actually find out what you could sell the car for quickly, not what's the most you can sell it for. So we'll use this Camry here as an example, because Camrys are pretty popular. We all we all love them, and I personally don't sell any Camrys or any Accords hardly ever because I can't get them for a good enough price to sell them quickly like this one 5,000 for me we're gonna assume that it has 150,000 miles they don't mention the miles but you know 150 is probably a good guess I would sell this car for 4,000 to 4,500 you know and they don't they just don't sell that cheap So we do have a Honda Accord that I'm gonna I'm gonna pull that up and we'll look at it. Now I personally don't I don't think that uh, that the Accords and Toyotas and stuff like that are good buys because it's so competitive and the market is so efficient because everything is priced you know more closer to retail than other types of vehicles. So we'll use these two for example. And let's look at the Kelly Blue Book on both and kind of see what we, okay, I'm actually going to pull up the Black Book too. We talked about Black Book in another video, but the short and sweet version is that Black Book is a wholesale slash cash value valuation that is based on real transactions and auction purchases. So it, it averages those out and it's what all big dealers, including CarMax, new car dealers, um, it's what they all use to value a trade-in, but they also use that to know how much a vehicle will sell for at the auction. So real quick, we're gonna go price, new, used, whatever. Um, 07 Camry, it's just a, I think that would be an LE, if it's, yeah. Now, from my experience in my head, you know, when I look at this car, I think it's worth forty-three to forty-nine hundred. So I wouldn't want to pay more than thirty-five hundred when I buy the vehicle. So we're going to see what Kelly Blue Book tells us for an LE sedan. Uh, it doesn't have any options. So, and when I use Kelly Blue Book, I do not price in options because it just makes it that much safer of an estimate. And I always look at good, unless it's just super, super nice. Okay, so what this Kelly Blue Book is telling us is 36 to 5,000. Um, in my head, I was thinking 43 to 48. So we're, you know, we're pretty close. Now, when you see this number, you've got three numbers, you get the little range. And the first thing a lot of people will think is, oh, wow, it's worth 5,000. Well, I use between this number to this number as a worst case scenario. And what I mean by that is, yeah, maybe this this is maybe nice, but we we never get this number unless it's just an exception. We are going to expect to get 36 to 4300, and that is the price range. So when you buy the vehicle, if you do pay 35 to 3700, then you know that you should be able to break even very quickly and hopefully make 800 to 
So, you know, if it's telling you 43, 51, then maybe you throw it up for 45 if it's pretty clean. And you hope for anywhere from 42 to 4,500, and, you know, you make your 800 to $1,000. That is how you use Kelly Blue Book. And let's say if we were to go and look up this little Honda here, 09 Accord. It's got 163,000 miles. Uh, yep, 163. Now remember, Kelly Blue Book is certainly optimistic in most scenarios. But under like under three thousand dollar cars, it can be way off. You know, for example, it might tell you that like a two thousand two Chevy Cavalier is worth eight hundred dollars. But we know that if it's clean, runs great, everything's solid, we know it's worth fifteen hundred to two thousand, depending on the miles. So obviously, it's not always accurate or spot on. But that's that's where it comes. That's where it becomes very important to know your market and not rely solely on numbers because if you do that, you're going to get in all kinds of trouble. All right. And just, just like I thought, I personally feel like this is overpriced. But based on our local market, we don't have any of these really for sale available. So we, you know, here you can see that we are right at the private party for Kelly Blue Book. And I think we paid 4500 No, we paid close to five for it. Which being a Honda Accord, you know, it's kind of like hopefully we get, no, no, we paid we paid 45 to 47 because we have it for 59. How we do our prices is we have a standard markup and we don't really price them on value. So we take 4,500, we mark them up by 1.3 usually. So yeah, you get 59. That's how we came up with our number was using a standard markup. But you know, we're right in line with the retail value and maybe we'll get it, maybe we won't. Um, if we look here on black book we're going to look at both of these vehicles and see what they what their cash value is so when we look at black book you know don't pay attention to the carfax and auto check we're looking at black book it gives us our retail numbers but we don't care about those we care about the finance and loan value this is what we what we call an acv number this is what the vehicle should sell for pretty quickly in cash. And you see it's 4900 which is about what we paid for it. So we know that worst case scenario, we're going to break even. Uh, we might make 1000 to 1200 on it, but we're good. We've protected our downside. We won't lose money because it's it's worth this 45 to 4900 This will even tell you the, the trade-in value because you know that the the dealership gave them anywhere from four to five thousand in trade-in value, and wholesale is what you can expect to buy it for at the auction. You know, between four to five, which is we paid like forty-five hundred for it, so we're we're right in line with those numbers. Now let's let happen when we look at this Honda Accord. Oh seven, no, the uh, Camry. Oh seven Toyota Camry, LE. So it's got 150. So this number is once again in line with our Kelly Blue Book. Now, of course, our average retail is 6,000. It says our rough is 43. So just like Kelly Blue Book, where we use the low number to the middle number, in Black Book, we're going to use the low number to the middle number. So we know it's worth four to 4,500. It's definitely not worth 6,000. But you know, if we buy it in such a way that we can sell it for four to forty five hundred and do okay, then we are you know, we are covering our butts and making sure that we don't lose money, but we can also make a good amount at a low price. So that's how you use Kelly Blue Book and as an extension black book. Hopefully that makes a little more sense. You know, you don't want to be optimistic or idealistic and think that you can get the high number. 
you're going to be looking at the low number to the uh, second lowest number. So until next time, this is Anthony with Pro Dealer Secrets, and I will see you on the next one.